we, yeah. we, we got we got to talk about that heaping pile of stink shit and explain to people we we've given it chances and we've been you know touched inappropriately every time and I I'm not going to give them a chance to touch me the way I don't like to be touched. It's uh, like what Spielberg did to Indiana Jones. Apparently, he's getting a uh, very secret fan base because some people are arguing in favor of the new movie. Like, I, I, I understand to a degree. Some people have more faith than I do. But I've consistently said, okay, okay, I'm not a big fan of the suits. We'll see where it goes. Okay, I did not like that trailer. Let's see where it goes. Okay, I'm not liking this plot synopsis. Let's see where it... Okay, I don't like this. Let's... Okay, I don't like... Okay, stop. Oh, God! I giant like butter it. melted figure! <laughs> you know... Yeah, it, it, it keeps going, I don't like this... I'm tired of giving it a chance to redeem itself. Again, designs don't make or break it, but when you have bad decision after bad decision after focus group said this would test better with audiences, after this would go better with audiences since this is popular, it then loses its feel as a Power Rangers and Tokusatsu show, aside from the fact that if we took the Power Rangers name off this completely, the only thing that would be Power Rangers-y about it is the suits and like Alpha Zordon and Rita. Like if we removed them from this and the suits, this would have nothing to do with Power Rangers and no one would give a shit because it's See, so was, generic. I was thinking about this at work and the feeling that I'm getting from the, the reboot movie is that it's a prequel to Mighty Morphin Power Rangers the movie because look, look how similar like, not counting aging for Mighty Morphin Power Rangers the movie. Just, just look at them as two individual things. Could you not see this movie seamlessly pretty much going into to Mighty Morphin Power Rangers the movie? Look at how the suits look. The CGI Megazord. How much they change continuity. Like, in universe and out of universe, it fits as a prequel to it. I like that idea, but they, they haven't they gone out of their way to say this is a new thing? Yes. Oh, they have. Yeah. It's just, it seems like all the pieces. I'm not saying that's what they're doing. It's yeah, just, I, I, I guess it's like a conspiracy theory behind it or something, but it just, it, all the pieces fit. It, it feels like a reboot, reboot to that movie more than a reboot to the show. Yeah. And okay. I, I didn't dislike Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the movie, but it didn't resonate with me like the show did. It was campy as shit. Almost fucking Megazord. Oh god, nineties is shit. Oh, if the, this the meant... Ninja Megazord had the Shogun Megazord sword for some reason. Question: do, Now that he's brought that up, do we think this CG Mecha Monstrosity is gonna knee Goldar in the balls or fondue, as I now refer to him? I, <laughs> I actually hope so because I thought that was legitimately funny in that movie. Just like I don't boom, care how old I get. Like, having the the dick knee button underneath glass as a last resort will always make me <laughs> giggle on some level. Oh, the under the glass, like, emergency thing was, was pretty awesome part of it. But like, one-liner we, was good, too. Taking care of business. <laughs> Needs him in the ball. <laughs> they need him in the balls and made him hit a meteor yeah. that brought him... Yeah. Comet. Comet. Still, that that's so dumb, and I loved it. Ugh, that's why I love the movie. We should definitely talk about it. It started with skydiving. It was like. It did. And it had amazing 80s and early 90s rock in it. Oh, it was, it was music all was 90s good. music. And it was so fun. It was just. Oh, it, although it, there, there were some pretty blatant time wasting scenes. Oh, God, a lot of them. But that, that's the thing that I, get, I don't get from this movie. It doesn't seem fun and whimsical. It seems exactly. too down to earth, too much like things that aren't Power Rangers. I understand it is not supposed to be a 90s cheesy show, because go back and watch the original Power Rangers now. It's hard to sit through because it's so bad and cheesy. But at the same oh, yeah. time, it is so different and so wildly out of the comfort zone for what should be a Power Rangers thing. It just doesn't feel Power Rangers maybe. Like that mecha. That we're, uh, we well, have to talk about. Like a Pacific Rim reboot. Like a Pacific Rim robot. Yeah, it looks like either a Pacific Rim or a Bayformer. Like, there are so many hundreds of 
Mighty Morphin Power Ranger, Megazord redesigns on t- on Tumblr and Instagram and fucking Deviant art that do it so much better. And the problem is, it doesn't feel Power Rangers y. Well, yeah, it could it's, easily be like a Gundam show or. It could be a shitty Gundam show. Right yeah. Up. It looks closer well, to Ava than Gundam, but I know where you're going. Yeah. Well, like when when you were talking about like it, it, it definitely doesn't look like a Pacific Rim to me because one of the big things about Pacific Rim, uh, like in Del Toro, is what he was talking about, he always wanted it designed to say like you could believe that there was a character, like a person inside of it. That's what he always said. And like this one to me, like I look at it and was like, there's no way a person is inside that as a costume. I think this was designed purposefully so that there couldn't have been a person inside. And I think that's a detriment to its design because it strays so far off from the normal Sentai, usually chunky-ish mecha. I'm going to bring this up because I brought this up. I bring this up a lot on the page. How the fuck is it able to stand? Yes, people are like, oh, it stands because of figure. But it's made out of metal. A lot of metal. Let me give it's you a, a lot of metal. Sure, the quick. Morphin was... Grid keeps it together and keeps it standing up, Nanami. How do you not fucking know this? See, so getting it to stand up doesn't question it to me. With it being so thin, how does it not, like, shatter? Like, when it actually moves. The yeah, Morphin Grid it's... keeps it... Come on. The hey. Morphin Grid is the answer to everything. It's a structural integrity uh, I mean, field. No. It looks like yes. it keeps yes. on putting its finger down its damn throat and throwing up everything that's in it. To make, just to make itself look thinner. So it's I hate bringing this up, but it looks like a fucking goddamn anorexic supermodel. Yeah, it, it, because it, it is. It's like real Megazords this... have curves. <gasps> no, yeah. real Megazords <laughs> have angles everywhere, ninety degree angles everywhere. Yeah, this is... and the sword has a goddamn cockpit on it. Wait, oh, what? yeah, yeah. The sword that's is the place I want to sit. Like it's a sword. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Oh shit. Ah! <laughs> The sword is the neck and the head of the new Petra Zord, and it, it looks so. It looks like a dagger. God damn this fucking movie! Oh my god, it's a hot crock of shit, and I understand some people want to defend it because they'll defend anything from a childhood love. But it's so. I hot have to good. argue with everybody. <laughs> no, well, sorry. Yeah, and, when... and it, it's it's the same thing as. It's like it's like I feel like when I'm arguing with people who are defending it is the same thing I get when I argue with people over the new Star Trek things from Abrams with people who love Star Trek the the new uh the new uh the the prequels to the Harry Potter uh oh, like someone this... sounded mad about that Star Trek thing I wonder who I wonder who that was <laughs> well it's it's usually me but I'm talking this time so you don't hear the growling um. <laughs> I picked, up, I picked up the slide. <laughs> <laughs> or, like, any of one of those ones where they're either rebooting it or redesigning it or unnecessary unnecessary prequels or midquels or Rogue One or other things that are shitty like that that just, like, are, oh, we just need to do it because, you know, we like the cash monies and we know this will make the cash monies instead of us coming up with something new. <sighs> See, I don't no, think I like I'd be as I don't think I would be as mad at this new, new movie if they even said like this is a different team of Rangers. This is its own continuity, and not call it Mighty Morphin. Just yeah. this, whatever else, else they want to the call it. or something that would have been cool. Something right, like like, like this whole even shit is that. what happens to bring those because what well, wasn't it like at the at the end of the Mighty Morphin powers like. They just weren't working anymore. Like, yeah. This is what it took for them to be viable or something like that. Well, like, no, Gold- think... Goldar destroyed the Mighty Morphin Powers. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so there were bits of them in the crystal, and because crystals grow, these grew out of what was left of the power coins. I, I could accept that. As a thing, would have been better if they didn't put Mighty Morphin on it and they made. One hundred percent, their own Power Rangers and their own Power Rangers movie. Then, it, to me, at least, would be a lot more acceptable. I'd still pick pick you know some of the bad designs, like uh, the Mecha needs to be a little bit more Power Rangersy. But if it was its own thing, more of a reboot, I'd like it a lot more. 
Like if it I just like the fact that I was thinking for 30 seconds and I came up with an idea that works better than they did. Oh, God, yeah. Well, that's <laughs> not a hard... This whole I mean, you know, thing it, was it's based focus on the group stuff. tested. Like, we all know all of the decisions that we don't like from this came from people saying, well, you know what's popular? Marketing. Iron Man and Bay Farmers. Throw it in there. You Marketing know what's popular? ruins Bully everything. Throw it in there. If you <laughs> ever... If you've ever read a Dilbert comic, or at least seen the show, marketing ruins everything. I, I, I went to school for marketing. Well, it I ruins worked, everything. I worked, in, I worked in marketing for a year, so... Like, I it went to school ruins for, everything. Like, advertising and shit, so I'm like, yeah, my bad. Yeah, it's... it's I like, won't, I, you know, I can't, I can't say as I agree with that, because I don't think marketing ruins everything. It's how you choose to market it. Well, with these big companies, yeah, they let it ruin it. Especially with shit like Sumo. Yeah, well, I mean, they let it ruin it, but it, they're, oh, what, what is it? I heard the term today. It's shit. It, it's they, no longer an individual. One can affect the other. Uh, it's no longer an individual's, like, vision. It's no longer their idea and their vision. It's by committee. And you, you, you know the adage, uh, what is a horse designed by committee? That's a camel. Yeah. I've heard of it. It's the same thing. So basically, this is your horse designed by committee. So you get like pieces of everything from that and what we need money from that. And at least someone realizing maybe we shouldn't have the Black Ranger be the one African American and the Yellow Ranger be the only Asian. Uh, at least someone went, yeah, maybe we shouldn't do that. But <laughs> Let, Let's not make the, the Red Ranger Native American. Did they ever do that? They did do that. Tommy. Yeah, Tommy was the Red Zeo. Is he, part, and is he part Native American? Yes, he okay. is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he didn't start as that, so that 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 helps a little bit. Mm-hmm. Actually, he is. He's a Christmas Ranger. Cocktail. No, 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 no. I mean, he didn't start as the Red Ranger. He became the Red Ranger eventually at Zeo. So, yeah. like, they brought, they didn't bring him in. As, you get where I'm saying? Like, he didn't come in Ooh. as the Red Ranger. So, like, it, <laughs> it, it 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 helps a little bit because that wasn't like oh. Well, we have an in- we have a Native American. Let's just make him the Red Ranger. No, they made him the Green Ranger and eventually became the Red Ranger. I don't know if that makes it better, but at least there was a little bit of little bit of time where they like also on that whole you know Black Rangers of Black, uh, Yellow Rangers Asian. That was all just it flew above their heads until they said like the first episode when the people started watching it. Like, oh shit, we made a boo boo. Oh yeah, I yeah. Totally, I and I do totally believe that. I just thought oh, so it was kind of funny. That's yeah. one of those things if it was done by accident like we're saying it was. That's one thing. That's you shouldn't do something like that on purpose, I suppose, but if it's done by accident and given milk. the like given the time it was done, I can see them not realizing it until it's like on film and there. Cuz if you're not actively thinking about it, it doesn't hit you until people are watching it and say, and then it hits you all at once. Holy fuck, what, would, what did we do? Well, I mean, apparently the actors and actresses didn't have a problem with it, or did they? Because I don't remember ever hearing anything about it. No, they no, didn't, I didn't even notice. The problem with was uh, David Yost was the only person that yeah. had a problem with it. Yeah, but he had a legitimate reason. Yeah. Well, right. it wasn't until later, later, but yeah. yeah. He did, it didn't come out until much later, but yeah. Awesome well, that that and David the shit Yost. they were paying them, but that was... Speaking oh, yeah. Yost, that dude still looks good. Let me look him up. That's because... Do it. I, haven't, like, I haven't seen a picture. He went to an awesome college. And, like, like he <laughs> put his uh, movie suit on for something, and I'm like, damn, man. Oh, that's right. That's right. Uh, the the Kimberly had challenged him to go down to Hollywood wearing the Rangers suit because she did. Uh, it was a ch- her old it was suit. a ch- thing for charity. Yeah, like Amy Jo Johnson's amazing, and David Yost is a cool fucking dude. I saw him at a con, but I didn't get a chance to meet him. He still looks really f- like David Yost and Walter Jones look like they haven't fucking aged. I don't know what Walter Jones. I swear to God, that dude's a fucking vampire. He still looks no, 20. The only thing that shades is David Yost is his honest. hair. Yeah. yeah. Like, that's not fair. What the now, fuck do you have to do to get those kind of genes? Do you have Jason to suck them Frank, out of someone? Because I'll do it. Jason Frank looks older, but he also looks much more badass. Well, he's an MMA fighter. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> he he looks that? like he, he, he... His face, to me, 
now that it's been said, looks like he's done a little bit of meth or some hard drug at least a few times. We're talking about David Yost or... No, uh, um, Jason David Frank. Nah, I see, he looks like someone who realized that, like, not... Well, he looks like someone who, who, who dropped, like, a little bit too much weight, whether from, like, meth or just from working out way too damn much. Uh, like, I want to say working out... But mid-90s and being a kid on top of the world with a ton of money in, in, in that type of area, people would just give you the drugs. Yeah, yeah but he's also a really hardcore martial artist, Christian. too, so... I don't know. I mean, look at Charlie Sheen. I know, but he does MMA, which they which they do test really extensively. So that I doesn't like mean he did it recently. Did, like, I don't. Think yeah, I see what you're saying. Like that, he didn't at some point. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah, okay. like I'm not saying he does drugs. I don't know, but it's like like after that he got off the show, he was like, I got a lot of money. I'm like fucking high as shit once or twice, and then it like hit him. This is terrible for me. Look at me, but it's never taken off him. Like if he now, this, he can still kick my ass. Totally cool with it. But he, yeah. he has that look in his face. Now, there is the one thing, though, is that they got paid so garbage. Oh, God. Like, they were really not paid, like, oh, they probably to what? We probably get paid better than them. In, in our individual jobs, not at this podcast, we make nothing. We make nothing because be nobody's watching our videos. Please watch our videos. We are really good at this. I, I mean, I won't, but <laughs> I'll say I will. And or lick your pleasure hole. Ooh, uh, fancy. Any any offers made by Asamu does not constitute a contract by me. So yes, it does. I, I mean, our whole you get the other. <laughs> our, our views are going up. So just with Isamu and Nosan, two tongues, our, one hole. Oh gee, I have a feeling. I have a feeling money. I have a feeling money would be paid to keep me away. So <laughs> Andy, edit out this conversation. No, no, keep it in. No, edit it out. <laughs> okay, and then we have to completely change the topic <laughs> right now, so so there can be a clean break. That's me, no, clean okay. break. So I can do whatever. Um, you like. I don't care. Uh, uh, it's, it's not me. Uh, I didn't say anything. I just said I'm not involved. That's all I said. Do you? <laughs> think... I'm just gonna throw this out there. Our common writer episode is up to 108 views with really? two thumbs up. Yeah, that's our our best video so far. Bowkinger's only got 61. God damn! Whoa. Like, so it might be, be better than we thought. Like we're not hitting high numbers, watching. but we're hitting more than we were at the beginning. Yeah, oh, I think yeah. Most of our old videos don't have any. Just out of curiosity, uh, uh, are these views that are going through to the end, or? Uh, let me look that up. Ooh, well, because with the out. X age, because we have it marked as episode as episodes one through ten, so people might like want be might be thinking, oh, we can click and watch sort of thing. Oh, uh, watch time. Are we totally uh, editing this, you know, you know? <laughs> no, don't yeah, worry we about are, it. We will leave this in. We are funny. What's editing? <laughs> we? <laughs> I'm a funny one. <laughs> we'll clean it up in, we'll clean it up in we'll post. We'll clean it up in post. What's post? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, I totally flubbed my line. Should we do it again? Keep rolling. <laughs> um, but anyway, our you... average watch time is 41 minutes. Oh, well, so yeah. people make yeah. it through at least 90% of the podcast. So, just to get the clean cut here, just in case Andy feels like editing all that <laughs> shit out, do you think that the weapons are going to be in there? No. Oh, the so individual kind of the, power sword. The yeah, oh, we've seen the Red Rangers, you know, weird looking Monado sword. I, I'm going to make a prediction. They're going to do like they did in Mighty Morphin Power Rangers movie, where they had the weirdest weapons that never showed up in the show except for the White or, Rangers. Or toys. Did they make toys for the movie weapons? No, they didn't. Like the Pink they Ranger had that like weird the, the, thing that never came yeah, out. Yeah, the that. whip, and Billy had that, that uh, taser that was also like a bat grapple, and... I don't think the other ones showed their weapons. No, they didn't. Except for Tommy, but he still had Saba. Mm. He, got, he has to. He didn't, he didn't show up. I don't think he, Saba even talked through that. Nope. He, nope. His eyes glowed, and that was it. And Oh, he, he shot roared. lasers. He shot lasers out of him. And he roared once, I think. And there were the Tengu I warriors. I love the Tengu. I like the Tengu in the movie. 
I really do. But I, I did. I like them more than I did in the show. Okay, they they seemed more funny in the movie. Was the one Tengu warrior trying to do a Jack Nicholson impression? The one that was talking like threw one off a mountain and one went he threw into one a off of a, that yeah, one. Yeah. I, I think he was. Threw one off of a cliff, threw one into a raging river. river? And it was like, it was like <laughs> we, honestly, we need to do an episode just on that movie because I, I, I love its campy shit. Come back next week when we talk about the actual movie. You mean you mean the fact that Ivan Ooze left teeth marks in all of the scenery? Because he chewed the fuck out of it. Out of I it, liked yeah. him as a villain. I, oh I mean, no, I, I did. I, I do too. I just like he what if, chewed that scenery. What if and, <laughs> everything for the MMR reboot movie has been a clever ploy to let, let us know that the true villain is Ivan Ooze? If they do that, my guy, what, my prediction it, will be right that it's a prequel. Like if that happens, I will take back things because I'm not a crazy. Take on Ivan Ooze might be hilariously stupid because you know if they're gonna do an Ivan Ooze like this the the jokey type of thing, he's gonna make a dank meme reference once, and all the sixteen year olds are gonna love it. I would love that. I mean, if they like, made a dank meme joke, cry like he looks at it. Like he looks up at the mech. That's one dank mech, son. Yeah. I'm trying to think of a meme that would fit that Megazord. Damn, if this not if this doesn't seem like a good time for an apocalypse. Mm, let's see. Let's just Google dank memes here. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh no. What have I done? Ready? Where have you here done, I, Samu? I mean I could go to other places, but you won't like them either. I mean Would you like to see my Tumblr history? No. Oh god. Oh, my. Like you might all lose respect for me. <laughs> Nah. Might have to put that into the It would pretty much be the same, right? <laughs> Respect. No, I'm um, <laughs> You butthole. <laughs> also... Was that what was in the Tumblr history? Buttholes? Nothing. No. <laughs> Completely unrelated, the gold loco is amazing. The gold for what? The gold for loco. Pay us for loco. We will We will sponsor your product, and we will all but... Dal- all but <laughs> Nintendo, give us free stuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. So... Uh, Okay, I think. Do I, you I think, think I that they're it. going to have a bulk and skull kind of people in this? No, they better. They, they had better. They will just for the sake of saying, "Oh, look, that was bulk and skull," and then move on. But, no, because they're gonna ruin it. Don't you touch yeah. my bulk skull? And, and know what the worst thing Shitty. is going to be about no. that? They're probably not going to have their theme music. Well, that's obvious. Like they no, haven't had but, any of the music. No, I don't want them to touch my bulk and skull. They're going to. <laughs> I heard those guys are actually pretty funny. They no, go to. A, you know the guy that plays Skull has a PhD. Yeah. What? He's a, That's he's awesome. He's a fucking professor of I think English literature or something like that, like at UCLA or something like that. He's a fucking professor. Yeah, That's badass. Like both yes. of them will add you on Facebook just because they're cool people. Yeah, that's why he didn't show up in uh, Samurai with Bulk, because he was doing school stuff. But he did let his son go yeah. there. He got and that also, one good cameo, though. But the, you think it was uh, cameo. Bulk is a... At the end. <laughs> he was in a limousine. Isn't, isn't Bulk a partial owner for um, Power Rangers right now? It wouldn't be. Yeah. That I'm not sure. Yeah, he is. That's been bought and sold so many times. <laughs> It's like it's like in it's like in the, in the wild forest, forever red. Did I tell you the time that I met Rita? Yeah, I know. I was, I was there. there. <laughs> like honestly, I so hope they're not into it because I don't, I don't want that to be tainted because they are my favorite, See, like Mighty Morphin characters. Or I don't they come back as the, teachers. I don't want it to be the two bullies from the beginning. I want it to be like season three, three through like. Turbo Hulk and Skull, where they're they're actually good people and they're funny, and then they end up leading the charge against the final battle. Don't you mean what uh, if? And I know this isn't going to be a thing. They yeah, just have I mean, like, in space. The legit actors of like Jason Narvi and I forget the other one, Paul Paul Schrader. Schrader. Paul Schrader. Schrader. Just they have them as cameos. I don't care what they're doing if they're standing in the background. They look up at the monster. Let's do it, and they just run for it. That I will love. I don't care. You know what I want? Hmm. I want a goddamn Stanley cameo out of nowhere just because it'd be hilarious. 
What, Stan Lee's there? I thought I had a deal with... Uh, I thought I made these people. Wait. <laughs> Leopardon? And then he just turns around. Stan or he Lee is Zordon. Just like, 2017. He could just go meta and just say, wrong franchise. Or wait. I didn't help design this one. I thought I was supposed to help with Battle Fever J. Well, I was like, didn't he? Yeah, didn't... Well, I don't know who in Marvel had the... Uh... Battle Fever J. No, no, Bad Cat. Bad Cat. Bad Cat? Yes, Battle Fever J is a bad cat and needs to be punished. No, my cat tried to chew on my headset. Oh, if you want to punish me, you can punish me. <laughs> oh, God. I'm not I'm sorry. that. <laughs> I don't mind God. if I do be doing that. You don't mind if I do. All I, all I can think of is in Wayne's World where they were like the false setting. Didn't happen. Shit, fuck. I totally shouldn't drink during podcasts when we talk about shit. Eh, it's interesting. It, it makes the shit a lot more bearable, and this is tasty as fuck. <laughs> now that we've sufficiently talked about both of them, what do you think, just on visuals alone, looks more Power Rangers slash Super Sentai? The MMPR reboot or Kyoto or Kyuger? Kyuger. Well, yeah, Kyuger. Well X-A. done, because it's designed like a fucking Sentai. That's the problem with the other one. It's not designed like a goddamn Sentai. Yeah, I mean, I can barely tell the difference between between their colors in the MMPR movie. I have to look really close at it to see the little highlights of their colors. Now imagine doing that, not being able to see red, and, and picture that problem. Yeah, if you're colorblind and watching this movie... You won't be able to tell who's who's which ranger. How many fucking gray rangers do we have in this damn movie? <laughs> who was the person? Someone on the page said, "I hope that um, Japan does a uh, Zoo Ranger uh, reboot movie in a couple years." Where they I have, saw that. Um, updated Zoo Ranger Mecca, and they go to America, take out the MMPR reboot Mecca in one hit, and then just ignore it for the rest of it. Like a Super Sentai Final Wars. I was it's like Final that, Wars that when be, Godzilla yes. took out Zilla in like seventeen seconds. Or that, uh, that would be I would love that. Or probably, it wasn't even seventeen, it was like in top. <laughs> or probably sometime in the future, maybe have Super Sentai versus Power Rangers. I, I would like that, but I don't think it would happen. Yeah. yeah if they did like, that sheer numbers alone, just just the number of, of Rangers Sentai would win. And especially because they, they've been skipping series again, like Go but, Buster, I don't know. Tokyo Has sure. the Titanium Ranger, so therefore they would win. Oh god, Titanium. Oh, oh no. yeah. Oh, My no. neighbors probably hate me. Maybe he would know. Maybe he would actually be able to keep his, his visor on this time. Maybe they'll he just doesn't. get Servitron and then it'll be done. So, yeah. Q Ranger is definitely the winner of this podcast, being at least 40 minutes of talking about it and about 30 of Talking about the other one. Well, one's a legit Super Sentai. One's kind of a steaming pile of what the fuck? It's a steaming pile. It's a steaming pile of metallic shit. Yeah, I just, it's something I, I find in my cat's litter box. I just want to meet the Patak that just <laughs> okayed that movie. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> you uh, you have no honor. <laughs> uh, well, they are the Borg. They have neither honor nor courage. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They're they're coming. We should probably call this... Wrap this up. Yeah, wrap it up. Let Huge me know what it's off. MMPR so movie something. definitely needs a lot of work. Probably some actual fan input. Like, I would love it if we're completely wrong and the movie's actually good. I just have no idea. Yes, I would love it as well. I mean, as much as I give it eight, I mean... I mean, his ass is looking pretty nice. The only I don't want to see the shit fail, but, you know, it's like a train wreck at this point. The reason yeah. why we hate it so much is because we love it so much. I mean, yes, this is a good thing that they're finally wow. making that they're finally making a Mighty Morphin Power Rangers movie with very high-grade CGI stuff. But the designs and the choices that they're making is just making making us feel like Wow, we really shouldn't be watching this on just those concepts. Like, to me, it feels like half the movie focus group tested on 
oh, this was popular before, so let's put this into it. We might get a little bit of fans coming over and make more money. It doesn't seem like, oh, we're doing this because we love this property. We're doing this because we want to make as much money as possible, and that is the bottom line. Not making the fans happy, not doing a good adaption. It's, we want to make money and nothing else. That's why there's Iron Man Life. That's why there's Bayformers. That's why it's Grimnar. That's why it feels like Chronicle and The Breakfast Club and every other teen movie. That's why they're getting bullied at school instead of being the stand-up citizens. Uh, That's no, what puts me off so much. No, son, your mic's yeah. doing that thing again. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, I was about to ask whose mic that was. That's no, son. There we and go. Did you put it on your cat or something? <laughs> Bad cat. <laughs> Not big. Name Maxi Bob. Maxi Zipper. Maxi Zipper. So, I guess we can all say, Q Ranger, we're really hoping it's good. Oh, God. And with the MMPR, please well, break our expectations. What if, podcast news. what if Futager's input was from the MMPR movie department and they have a crossover? <laughs> so, anyway. I hope I hurt you. This has been <laughs> Writers of the Lost Rise Swords coverage. The movie? No, if you can do it right, it's Writers of the Lost Swords. The movie! <laughs> our, <laughs> our predictions on the Q Ranger and our. Would you say the stain for the MMPR movie? Trepidation? Trepidation? Oh, that's a good one. Trepidation? Yes. Yeah, I can do that with that. Anti enthusiasm? Yeah. I like that. Blind rage! So, Chemo rage? So, because uh, this movie feels like cancer. From all of us to you people out there, we have a, we have an opinion. We like to, ha like to share it. Please respect it. Have a good night. Opinions are all like assholes. Everybody's got one. Week. Get Every over it. Some people have two. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.